So now let's try micrometer caliper. So we can have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trials for this. So I have here the micrometer caliper. So how do we measure micrometer caliper? If there's no object in between this anvil and stirrup, Tama ba? Yeah, so you can verify the parts. It should be zero, but here we have a reading already of point, wait, so one click, in between four and five. So the least count of this is point zero 0.01. It means that every division of this micrometer scale represents point zero 0.01. On the main scale of your micrometer caliper, it represents one millimeter. So this is one millimeter, two millimeter, yun. On the lower part, you have half of it. This is 0.5 millimeter. This is one, this is 1.5, two, 2.5, and so on. But if you can see, as you can see, if I'm going to close this, it doesn't stop at zero. So it has a reading already. That's how sensitive it is. So meron ka ng correction. Because the zero correction the zero point supposedly zero is already it has already a reading of point uh, zero point mm -hmm, four but look it's in between four and five point four five Millimeter. So every time you measure, guys, you are going to deduct 0 0.045 millimeter. Okay? So how do we now use it? You unlock it. And then you open the, the anvil. And then you insert your object. So let's say the sphere. Okay, it doesn't fit yet. Okay. And then the middle. You use this, then you hear uh, one click, did you hear it? One click only. Okay, so you can lock it. How do you measure this? So look at the main scale. So it's 15, 16, 17, 18. So for a trial one, it's 18. 0 0.00 millimeter and then you have to add it, it passes by the half mark so it's 0 0.5 and then you for the second part on the micrometer scale look for the line here that perfectly coincides with the horizontal line so you already have 0 0.5 plus 1 2 not three but it's in between two and three so you have 0 0.50 plus you have another one one two zero point zero two look, look at that it's not a two but it's not also a three so 0.25 in between so you can actually approximate so the total reading now is 18.525 millimeter but take note you have a zero point so you have to deduct it minus 0 0.045 so you have to deduct it okay so at the adding reading so trial one 18.480 millimeter. We can do another trial, trial number two. So I'm going to unlock, wait, I think it's unlocked already. And I'm going to move it again. One click only, quiet. Ayan. That's enough. And then we're going to record it now. Wait. Ayan. Oops. Trial 2, so you can see the 18, right? 
18, 16, 17, 18. For trial to 18.00, and then what line profit clock coincides? You can see the half, so 0 0.50, and then which line perfect clock perfectly coincides with the horizontal? 1, 2, more or less than 2. 0. Point zero two so now our reading is eighteen point five two okay and then minus zero point zero four five so it's five How about 18.475 okay okay so let's have another trial Do -do 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 -do. look at that in the middle perfectly in the middle click again so we have here I can already see 18 and then 0.5 shortcut 18.500 Saan nag align 1, 2, 3, between 3 and 4. 0 0.0, 3, 5. Why 3, 5? Not 0 0.04 but not 0.03. It's, it's between 0 0.03 and 0 0.04. So 0 0.035. So 18.535, correct? And then you have the zero correction which is 0. Point 0, 4, 5. So you have to deduct it. 0, 9, 4, 18.490. Okay, we have a lot more trials to do. Okay, so I think we should pause the video. Oops, look at that. Perfectly aligned. So, 18.53. Uh, 18.53. Dinaretso ko na. I go straight. I know already that it's 0.53. But, you have to deduct 0.045. Okay? Tama ba? So 18.485. You know, but pre pre really precise, no? Let's try another one. Like that. And so on. So you can do until 10 trials. Different parts of the diameter of the sphere. But don't forget the correction. Always have to deduct this. The main scale first. And then look if it passes by the half line so if this is 18 did it pass by the half line so 18.5 and then the, the micrometer scale look for the line that perfectly coincides with the main scale horizontal line okay and then you read it to read but of course don't forget to deduct the zero okay so the zero is the the reading even if there's no object yet on the on this part here on the anvil Okay. If you are if you are now close, do not use this thimble, but use the ratchet like this. So click. Look, it's consistent. It returns to zero point zero four five. Okay, amazing. So that's all how to use the burner caliper, the micrometer caliper, and I think the ruler is pretty obvious, pretty easy. But it's prone to error. Look at that. It's it's 17, it's 18. It depends on wh what you're looking at. So it's very prone to error. This is called parallax error when you when you read at different angle. See, iba iba, diba? If you move it a little bit, it's different. Putting 20, putting 19, putting 18. It's very erroneous, actually. Some of the some, some of the protractor has this, but this one has no, no ruler here. 
Okay, that's all for the day. I hope you've learned something. You can try 10 trials. Bye-bye.